Live. Okay, let's try. Is it the website? What are you looking at? God dang it, it's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, what are you watching? What are you looking at? She's in the, she's she's in the, oh, I'm trying to remember where it was the last time. I think she was in the forest, I believe. Jesus Christ, it's been too long since I played this. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, Best to fight, uh, let's, let's see the armor. Obviously, I already got the armor. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I guess, like, Arizona Chan would be the enemy. Oh boy. I don't know. We might just pick up their own war for the enemy. Alright. Oops. Second. 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 Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm just happy I'm going to do this. I think that's going to be I hear squeaky sounds. We are watching content collection. Jared told me to. Oh, that's that the the ship at the the, the battleship anime. Based off like it's battleship without Liam Neeson. It's battleship with all your ships are adorable anime girls. But yeah, and it would have been it would have been that anime would have been saved if Liam Neeson was an entity. Don't know who the commander's gonna look like in this anime. True. Oh, we, we ran into a contact collection cosplayer and I was like, see? See? People like contact collection. Like, especially it's a game and the person's like, oh, there's a translation website that has all a bunch of stuff. They're like, oh, I don't know where to play contact collection. So, can I try to see if I can find that contact collection translation website and see if I can actually uh, play some contact collection? Like, real, real men play WWE, um, WWE, uh, Supercard. Well, she is deep into the forest, I mean, remember? I think so, yeah, no, that's like, piece, I'm piecing it all together. But you have to put an optional boss. My characters are all awesome. <laughs> people. I By the way, uh, Madam Victoria. Huh? You need a cosplay. You need a cosplay the the the, the, guild, the guild lady from from Monster Hunter Four. I'll I'll check it out eventually. Yeah. Say a jag. Uh, three hero points. Okay, I can do this. I can do this in my sleep! Oh, I'm gonna get some I've been playing Monster Hunter. Because I am a shill. When we do our shill, trust me, that's oh, all we really talk about Monster Hunter. Oh, there he is! Yeah, that's right! There's someone grandma and serve on one of these ships. You're watching this with your drink, and there's something, and you're like, my ship is a just anime girl! So, apparently they've made uh, Marcos into a, a boy school girl. Uh, that was only for the time. It's like, uh... So that was for a uh, world... It was a, it was a series, it was like a series, series of, um, illustrations called Moe Dictators. That's like Moe Dictators. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And apparently my great uncle's in it. Grunkle. Her, her grunt is an anime girl now. Her backstory is way more confusing than that. Okay. This is the most confusing conversation, but the most amusing conversation ever. I guess it's only a place where. Yeah, he, you can do that shit, I can't. It's all about watch the pattern. Watch the pattern? No pattern? Oh, okay. Watch the pattern. I see how it is. Yeah. Get good. It's the same thing as just getting good. Okay, I see how it is. I probably would have been an instant fan, like, had I watched this my sophomore year of high school. Because I was very much a military otaku when I was a sophomore. 
Jerry. Evil tender things. Yep. Shinji, get an Eva. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I hear whenever I hear a horn, that's what I think of instantly. Spike, please. Now I want to the ice the ice level. Yes, that, that actually does help a lot. Oh yeah. Like, no shit of you, it's actually- it's, I, I'm, I'm amazed to have forward thinking to think of, of, of an item like this. Yep. But then again, it's like, knowing you, Miguel, you would've been like, I'm gonna do this just for fun and not even get it. I probably would've- I, I probably never knew- I never knew that. It would have been successful to get something out of this. Really? I probably would've tried to make it, but maybe I would've gotten the boots afterwards, you know? Yeah. Here, Montel. I can confirm this right now. Yeah. Playing the demo is useless for Monster Hunter because it doesn't award you anything afterwards. What's bullcrap? What if you beat the hard mission? Uh, <laughs> you end up crying a lot, like I, like how I was. <laughs> if you want, if you want to know how that mission went, talk to me and Stan. We can have a we can have a time later actually. Cause uh yeah. We had a we had a fun time. We saw some shitty art cartoon that earlier. It's called Kill It's actually shittier than that. Uh oh, whatever the fuck yeah, their own original animation thing was. That looked terrible. And also stuff gone. There are more things that people can do there. Sure. Well, what's the thing about the piece of 
Those sounds do not sound like do not sound like like I'm like you got watching a regular anime. Oh, she Kabuki was all getting all nervous about being equipped, and then she kept like crashing while trying to surf. So. Yeah, but, all, but it sounds like something else is happening with tentacles. Well, yeah, that was a pain shot right there, so. But yes, we are watching what? My battleships are not can't be this cute. Yeah, Boss, you should be a lot. The boss should be a lot easier now that now you now you, now you don't have tracks now you. Fuck, dude. Says Ramses. Yeah, the guy who can't can't beat this game. <laughs> so it's like I'll take any advice I can get. Yeah, I'll take any advice I say about this game seriously. Because quite frankly, I wouldn't know shit. Yeah, that's true. 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 What am I doing?
Sword 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 Yeah, that one exists. Yeah, I guess it's all down the fleet, but I'm not actually trying to play out. Fun. So, so I gotta come back when I have some kind of flying ability or something. A wall jump. Yeah, like a double jump or something. Or a wall jump or something. I believe so, yes.
game into a freaking made that's in and of itself is kind of a, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> so this is a card game. You want me to make an anime out of it? Uh what? Okay. Do my uh, best. Card game anime of what? Contact collection. It's a Japanese card game where the it's basically all these Japanese warships, but they're represented by cute anime girls. And the game doesn't have a plot, it's a freaking card game. It'd be like giving a plot to like Hearthstone or something, or Magic the Gathering. You know, it's just like, well, you do have all these characters, and we, you know, make something out of it, but they don't, it doesn't have a plot per se. Because it's a freaking card game. They've done worse than you can. Last night was crazy. I ended up drinking way too much because. A uh, friend of mine um, wanted to A, finish all the booze, and B, was feeling depressed that he didn't have a girlfriend on Valentine's Day. So, it helped him through a lot of shots. So much so that, like, a one-hit wonder should have shown up and started singing about all the shots we were having. But in the process, I just started, as I, as I do, I got, I got drunk enough to actually reveal my true feelings to people who don't know me particularly well. <laughs> I started ranting like crazy about uh, everything that was on Cartoon Network and every other commercial I saw and just... I was, in, I was in belligerent Jared mode. Like, football sucks. Who's Robert Hamilton? How does he know me? Yeah. He's, he's posted the thing about Nauticon, which, yes, I do want to go to Nauticon, but I have no idea who Reverend Hamilton is. Oh, that's his real name? I didn't know that was his real name. I didn't know that was his real name. Shit. Uh, it's a friend, friend of mine who... You know how you know people only via internet names sometimes? Yes. He's one of those guys I only knew via internet name, and I never knew what his real name was. Otherwise, I just call him by his real name, as I usually do with people whose internet names I know. Ooh, that, uh... Wait. Are those the Starlights? Yes. Hell yeah, I want to go to Sparkly Starlight outfits. <laughs> and I, I do like the Starlight's worship being uh, Venus. It's kind of awesome. Sparkly Venus. 
with all the Starlight's worship in it. That's amazing. In their sparkly pants, yeah, that's The only way they know how. Like you finally start like the book happened. This is good. This is where I got stuck. Oh, this is good. This is good. See, last night I went on a very drunken tirade about how shitty the artwork is in Kill a Kill. And I thought I did a long, long post on Facebook about it, but I am not finding it here, so I guess I just dreamed that I did that. I was supposed to be on, to be on Twitter. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Who posted that? Oh, Bard posted that. Those Titans are too much for us, we need help, and it just shows the cast of Zeta Gundam. We've been fighting Titans since 1985, step aside and let the professionals handle this. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking amazing. I loves me Zeta Gundam. Like, get me a Mark II one of these days. Hey, we got three viewers! Yay! Let's see, uh... Do, 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 let's see who... Let's give a shout out to... No one in particular! Not yet, at least. But hello, people that are watching us right now. Hopefully you're enjoying the randomness that's going on with this, with this stream, because... It's awesome! And yeah, it's supposed to be hearing me talk about a convention. And Zeta Gun. Okay, did, did I actually write it and you deleted it because I left Facebook open, or...? No, I, I don't do that to your Facebook. Okay. If, you know what, if I was going to post something on your Facebook, I would post something on as a status update as in something very early something. No, I mean, did you delete, like, one of my drunk, like my drunken posts, or did I just not do it? Cause I... No, I, I, I don't... Thank you, Ryan. If anything, I tell you, you made this post, I think you should reconsider having it up there, that's more of my style. Hey, yes. What are you... Boss? Good. Well, I don't think so. I didn't huh? like post any drunken tirade. You know, you and I think you're farther than I am now. I need to play that, but I was so busy preparing for con that I could not. Um, do you want me to help you add some people to Facebook? Oh right, we were talking about doing that. Uh, we'll, we'll do it when we're not on the air, um, because when you're on the air, so people can't know you more. Yeah. <sighs> okay, come on. Well, if if if, 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 you're, if if you're gonna if you're gonna promote, tell like also like direct them our way so you get more access to seats. Okay. Um, eight Oh, right. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I can add myself. Which one on there? Oh, because of you. Oh, Looks so much like Dan. This is just creepy. He really, he, this, this guy I met at uh, Katsukon. Okay. Really, really smart. Alright, stuff. Uh, okay. I met him with a princess. The really, really kind of smart guy. He's working on his master's degree in psychology. And. Mm. Puberty? I guess, I guess just sent her a message like, hey, it's Jared. Oh. Nice meeting you. It's nice seeing you again at Katsukon. Hey, man, that's so long. Okay. Damn it! Stop doing that! It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Cass. Thank you for all the food. 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 Any resemblance to a high school friend of mine, Dan, um, and that I'm, I'm fairly certain they're related. They, they have to be. They have different last names, but I'm fairly certain if I asked, if I okay, this is family, my um, friend Crossface from Monster Hunter, and he's one of my fake friends. He's okay. one who built the, uh, his own next door. Oh, is this a Canadian guy? Yeah, one of my Canadian friends. Yeah, Canadian guy was cool. 
land mine. Oh yeah, he was talking about all the monster hunter weapons he had just made for the spawn. And here's the other uh, Canadian friend. Okay. Oh yeah, every, blah, blah. yeah, everyone called him that, but I thought that was a nickname. No, it could still technically be a nickname. I don't know if his first name really is Bubba. I would doubt it. Just doubt it. Can't. Oh, wow. Well, as they come, just mention them. Once again, we got two viewers. Let's see what this is the second person who's coming. Lucic13, welcome to. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Welcome to the welcome. We, we welcome you with, with open arms here, uh, here at oh. our channel. Ramses, you have to do it like House of the Dead, too. Welcome! Friends! Friends! Welcome, friends! The only, the only dialogue I remember about that game is like when, you, when you first see G on the ground, he's like, My god. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's one of my favorite uh, Twitter posts I put for my panels. Hey, Katsukon peoples. I'm co running the Shoujo panel at 9.45. Be there or be someone that isn't there, I guess. Either way, be there. I liked that one. Oh, yeah. Tecmo has posted a trailer for my next waifu hunting game. Because stupid Atelier series, and they're amazingly awesome characters. I did my flashback first. I haven't done the Sapio Saturday or a soundtrack Sunday. Those cats are adorable. That's really bad anime. Which one? Um, on my Twitter, the cats are from Super Sonico, apparently. Oh! They're adorable cats! I need to change up my Twitter, uh, stuffs. I want, I want to do something video game for my background. Well, maybe I'll make that whatever I'm currently What the fuck? Is that Jaggy from Pistol of North Star? I got the same fucking helmet and everything! And that's just the, that's just the fucking boss from Super Mario Brothers 2! <laughs> oh, I said, well, it's full of references, Brad. Yeah, but it's like, that's the, I, like, that boss was a pain in the ass. Yeah, and I beat these. I know, thanks to the fucking broken ass weapon of yours. Is it better than the boomerang? Because I was actually digging the boomerang. Probably. Ouch, now I have to go back and get the sword. Did you, did you just die before you can say- oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind to play a new, like, card battle game. Why should I want to leave? I need a new sword. You, the man! Is that Filipino news? What, what's happening in the Philippines? Uh, we're talking about like, this rumor of um, <clears throat> Spanish colonial in town that pretty much has been untouched by by time. How is it hoping to be a great tourist attraction, but it's just so promoted far away? Double blades here I come. Oh, 
a spike up there! I'm glad it, I'm, we're not doing a podcast. I, I feel so hot right now. I don't blame you. Well, we were talking about, me, me and y'all were talking about that yesterday. I was like, I know you weren't going to be in the mood to do the show when you came back, so... Yeah, I meant to message you guys earlier, but I was not in the best of conditions this morning. <laughs> I don't blame you because, like... <laughs> last night, so... Yeah. Well, again, you, you, you had the... You had the privilege of um, drinking yourself blind. Yeah, the line line is blinder. Um, it's a running joke because I'm visually impaired. Uh, it, it's one of those things where I talk to my my usual drinking buddy about the experience, and he's like, "Oh, that's where you screwed up, man. You're taking shots of different liquors. You never mix liquor. You know that." I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah. Usually you remind me of that. <laughs> you need a better friend." I'm like, "I want a guy." He's a bigger dude than me. He can handle it better than I can. I've lost too much weight. I don't handle alcohol as well as I used to. Mm-hmm. Hey. I think I'm just gonna stick with just forging armor for right now. I'm not gonna buy anything. Yeah, no, but the sword I've just got is the same type damage as the boomerang. Yeah, that's the problem with this game. This game, this game loves to like fuck with you a lot of times. It's like, here's the save, here's the save place. Still not trying to get to it. That's so fucking jaggy from Crystal on Let's Start. Like, with one day we ever get to interview Matt Kemp, that's one of the questions I'd be asking him. Like, hey, is that guy from Crystal on Let's Start? I'm pretty sure the answer will be yes. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Exactly. I'd probably use Hulk Hogan for Crystal the North Star. That's me. Let's see. Ingredients, yes, I know. Not sure. Woohoo! There's one thing I love about this. Uh, there's one thing I love about the street passing about this game is that it's actually useful in, in, Mon in Monster Hunter. Now what's it do? For example, the more the more street passing you get, the more they give you what's called um, vouchers. Mm -hmm. The more vouchers you use, the more you don't have to pay for, for food when you when you want to go do stuff in the, in the game, and the more and that gives you buffs when you actually do missions. Mm. So it's like it's a way to get like free buff free buffs without like uh, uh, without using money. So you can save your money to do real things like buy, buy weapons or forge weapons. By the way, Jared, you're gonna love this game. Yep, that's what a Canadian guy told me. No, because they they did something I love. They actually they actually what the, the the Canadian guy might be right, but I, but here's let me tell you what, what's up. They took away a lot of the redundancy of like not redundancy, but they made it easier for like a new person to play this game. Oh, well that helps a lot. Like to the point where it's just like like you know how I said like just buy both of them, just stick with four, stick with four. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot and quote it. Just stick with Monster Hunter Four at this point. Because I got no, because I got no no real idea. I call one of my cat Artemis. Because hmm. I have no originality. 
it? How do you cosplay as Jack Thompson? I don't know. Like, but do you think that's asking for it? I think they're just trying to troll. Elias just wearing a sign that says Jack Jack Thompson, and he has like a fucking like you know picture of him like last year. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a Gundam. Get some in in tongues, kind of like just a help help work song. Uh, my ex decided to go get Capricorn, uh, dressed like Jack Thompson. Man, like I said, he's trying to troll. Yeah, okay. Because he's an asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what assholes do. They troll people. Because they think it's funny, and all of us think that person's an asshole. <laughs> so it's like the time when your ex was threatening Marty McFly to a gunfight. Marty McFly just said, he's an asshole, I'm not going out there. I forgot, I forgot what context um, we were talking to use that line in. I think you were like writing a story or something. I use it a lot. <laughs> so I'm not, it's an asshole. Artemis. This is annoying me. I'm reading this article to try to figure out where... Okay, so I've been doing my theme posts on Twitter, and so I need to do Sapio Saturday, which is to teach you something smarts. And it has to be thematic to the month, which this month is love, sex, and romance. So I'm looking up, like, where... what part of the brain, like, love triggers around, because I already know oxytocin, and I made reference to that. Um, in... What's the penis? There's part of the brain where this stuff occurs. <laughs> so I'm reading an article on it. This article just goes through the entire history of them trying to figure out where it is. I'm like, do I need to just scroll to the end? <laughs> I just want them to say, it's this region of the brain. It's it's the left left rear hemisphere. And I go, thank you. That's all I want. <laughs> so I can teach people what part of the brain starts like going all cray-cray when you fall in love with something. I know about the oxytocin being released in dopamine and the dopamine centers of the brain. I know that, but is there no one specific section? All right, you're, you're, you're getting your you're getting your paycheck here today, son. You're doing good. You're doing the God's work here, son. Wait. Huh. I can't. I can't wait to see this 15 minutes later. FMRI scans of brains processing a romantic gaze bear a striking eyes. resemblance to the brain activity of new mothers listening to infants' cries. They also resemble brain images of people under the influence of cocaine. So, if you want to know what love feels like, take some cocaine. <laughs> hey! <laughs> like I get it now. You're a dude. I almost want to make that my Twitter thing for CPU Center. What, just drink it, brain, brain, scans, brain scans for love and brain scans for the effects of cocaine are exactly the same. If you've never felt love, try some cocaine. <laughs> Works for me. Terrible, terrible advice that will come back to bite me in the ass someday. <laughs> but I, just, to me, it's just like, that's the kind of dark humor I have. See, it doesn't make me an asshole, it just makes me a dick. <laughs> yes, my, my desire to learn more about everything. It's been great, because each month I have to, I'm mean, going to try to make it thematic. So March is going to be Irish drinking and superstition so that gives me a lot more opportunities there's only so much like medical stuff that i would feel comfortable posting about <laughs> when it comes to love sex and romance um so it just gets kind of more complicated as this goes <laughs> but it's a nice well, that, there's only there's only so much before you hit a plateau yeah that's just me though it's like you know like yeah, there's there's a lot to be said about things, but it's like uh, there's there is there is sort of there is sort of like a plateau because love is a mysterious thing. Well, yeah, that's why science is trying to figure out how it works. Apparently, science has figured out that it's the same thing as cocaine. <laughs> same. The, the science has said that the same thing as cocaine. So if you love, you love. Yeah, I'm not gonna deny it either. It's like that's that's. 
Science says if science says it, then it's got to be true. If science says jump up, jump off a cliff, jump off a cliff, I'll say gladly. The science told me so. Hmm. In terms of brain chemistry, you can you can load up on adrenaline and fight or flee, or you can cool down with oxytocin and tend and befriend. I like that. It's just I'm like I don't know. Like all the things they're saying for describing for how to like trigger your oxytocin responses, and I'm like, that's all great. That's not like practical stuff. Like adrenaline, you can trigger that so easy. At least for me, I can trigger my adrenaline really fast. Triggering my oxytocin release, I'm like, I guess if I smelled something that smelled really, really good, or ate some really good food, that tends to release it for me. But it's kind of interesting just learning about the effects of the, the drug and how it causes you to uh, have lower stress reaction to things. It just generally makes you happier, and it makes you want to make others happier. So people with a strong oxytocin release must just be living in freaking bliss. I have a low release of that, just because clearly, with the, as tense and, and, and crazy as I am, but, but whatever I have is just just enough to like cool me down from flipping out all the time. Oh uh, yeah, everyone's still here. Yes. Yeah, there Um, I actually went to um when I went to a uh, uh, Capcom, they had a booth that was selling like some of the heart patch um TBR speakers. Uh, mm -hmm. your blossom was going for twenty five. That's way too much because you can find out now like they're cheap. Like you can find out they're, like on a good day you can find what? out like eight bucks. Oh. oh. Yeah, you need. Yeah, if you can, if, if you ever find one that's like pure marine, just direct it my way, and I'll give her a good home. Because I ended up taking home a pure moonlight um, TV art figure. The best. All right, I'll I'll, I'll 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 keep an eye out for you. Yeah. Also, I heard like um, all the happiness charge stuff is done now is, is down here. It's on Hobby League Japan, and I'm considering like one of the bracelets eventually. Yeah, because like oh, uh, really? now that we're on, nice. on Princess Go. Hey, once! Oh, wait till later, ah. that This is. Wait till like 20 minutes. What the fuck? Is that a whistle? Yep. Okay, follow this one. This one's kind of crazy. <clears throat> Older women who are living with husbands and finding those husbands to be unsupportive have chronically higher levels of oxytocin. Now it's not clear what the direction of causality is, but. A tentative conclusion that I would make is that when social support needs are not being met, oxytocin levels go up as a signal to seek out social contact. And then, once found, oxytocin may be restored to normal levels. So oxytocin isn't the feel-good hormone. At times, it may be the feel-crummy hormone that leads you to take steps to feel better. Man, this is fascinating. So it literally can trigger, like, the, it just makes it that part of your brain that makes you say, you need a hug, you need a hug, get a hug from someone, do it. And it's like, my brain says I need someone to make me feel better. And then you do, and then you normalize. It's fair. So it does both sides of it, which means it's not as simple of a hormone as we thought it was. Hmm. Man. Brain is, in, is amazing. I'd have gone into neuroscience, except for, like, you know, science is hard. Science isn't hard, folks. I love science, it's just... I, I have no idea how you do brain science at this point. Like, to study these kinds of things sound like more like psychology experiments than anything else to me. Well, I guess if I had gone to like a pharma... pharma <sighs> pharmaceutical. Yeah, the phar pharma psychology. Where oh, you're pharma actually, psychology. Yeah, you, you're doing the... You're doing, doing the chemicals and you're doing the actual, you know, mental kind of things. That's probably where, where a lot of these people are. 
which would have been an interesting path for me to be. Plus, I'd be a doctor. And a cool, and like a real Z's doctor, not like one of those, like, I'm a real smart doctor, but like, I can get you drugs, doctor. <laughs> doctor feel good, if you will. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, get out of here! Oh. There's yeah, an I'll interesting theory. Right <clears throat> Some scientists believe oxytocin works in tandem with the body's natural opiates. When oxytocin triggered, uh, with oxytocin triggering the drive for social attachment and the opio opioid supplying the warm, fuzzy feeling of being in the company of loved ones. So there's a science that's why I'm Well, only if you have really super, if you're like me and have low levels of this, because I can reading this, I'm like, oh, I have low levels of this because I'm such an introvert and don't want to be around people and don't want to be touched. But I clearly have a lower level in my brain than the average person. Yeah. Which, it's already been established. My neurochemistry is a little off and it is for my whole family. So this isn't a huge shock. But it's kind of interesting to read that going like, oh yeah, that's why when I do get close to someone, I feel really happy about it because my brain can finally go like, oh good, we can release the opioids in your head now. Boom! There you go, Jared. Now you feel warm and fuzzy inside, don't you? Even though it took you like two years before you like socially interacted with anyone. <laughs> yeah, it was totally worth the wait. Jared does not socially interact with people. <laughs> this, this Skype thing is about as good as I, I do with most people. <laughs> I can vouch for this. Uh, we got a swaggler here, come on. Let's fight. So there may, there may not be a specific outright section of your brain that gets triggered by love. It might just be all over it. Huh. In tests with animal subjects, oxytocin injections dramatically reduced tolerance to opioids. In other words, I think this may not create the visceral pleasure of love and attachment. Yeah. But it does enable the pleasure to last for long, a longer period of time. Hmm. So yeah, I guess there is more research saying that it's... It isn't the be-all end-all. It is just a triggering factor. It basically gives you the craving for the opioids, it's just from, what I, from what this sounds like. At least that's what I would postulate. So when the oxytocin levels in your brain get high enough, it basically says, go out and find someone, you need a hug. And then when you have the hug, you get the huge rush of the opioids into your brain, which now feel even better because the oxytocin is making you some stuff to do it. You work working on your high QA and over there? I think I talked on this gig. All I need to do is just point to the all I need to do is point to the to the volleyball scene. Yep, that's what she's listening to. The song from that. I go. He goes like, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Oh shit, the goal.
Yep, there we go. That's why it's screwed up in me. Oh, this is on level two. The Prevol's brain, brain anatomy suggests a strong connection between dopamine and oxytocin. And my dopamine levels are fucked up. So, if my dopamine levels are screwed up, that's why my oxytocin levels are screwed up, which is why I don't like interacting with people. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I know more about my brain now. Right, More important, oxytocin's effects are heightened by estrogen and dampened by androgens like testosterone. Which is probably why testosterone makes you more aggressive, and, it, and estrogen makes you more like cry cry times. Ah. I love domestic voices. What are some places you've been? Nice. Unfortunately, I don't know where to go catch one. Like a real one? Mm-hmm. Pokemon are weird. You beat the snot out of them, and then you capture them and you enslave them, and then they're suddenly like, I love you. <laughs> like, I know. It's... You have Stockholm Syndrome, Pikachu. Enjoy. That's all I'm gonna say. Stockholm Syndrome at its best. Hey, so they, 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 do, they do that thing where you transition to rooms in Castlevania that has a CD on top. Signifying, hey, you're in a room that, that has a... You're in a room that, that has to be loaded. Oh, um, sure. Tell me about the Grieger panel, how you met, like, um, the East Coast versions of Stan and Ramsey's. Oh, yeah, I've met, I've met your East Coast non-Mexican equivalent. What the uh, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> there is a pretty cure panel run by two dudes. In cosplay, of course, and they really reminded me of like you and Stan. If instead of being grumpy Gusses, you guys were like the happiest people in the world. Crossplay from Breaker. And they crossplay from Breaker. And we're upset that I didn't bring Blue to this con, which I specifically didn't do because I'm like, there's gonna be no Breaker people there. So why would I bring Blue? And then you realize there's a lot of it. There's a lot of pretty cute people, and I totally could have brought Blue and had a bunch of cute girls and a couple of cute guys, like, hanging off of me, and that would, wouldn't have been too bad. Because, while I don't like to be touched, I do like cute girls in costumes. That's what I've learned to- like, you, like you like the arm candy. I like the arm candy. I, you know what, it's not, it's not that I like to be touched. It's that I like people to look at me and envy me. That's what it is. <laughs> people to look at me and go like, Damn, dude, you get all the fine ladies. I'm like, I know, because I'm here. But then, like, after that, the, everyone can just leave me alone. <laughs> I want the photo up on the internet so that people can go and, like, be like, Oh my god, you're all the fine ladies. I'm like, yep. And I never had to talk to them again. Because <laughs> I'm super antisocial. <laughs> like to be my little, little... What was the thing in that little, uh, the... How to deal with an introvert? Was it bubble? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna be back in my little bubble. <laughs> and have people not touch my bubble. Jeez, just because of this study, I know so much more about my own brain. Dopamine regulating drugs to try to fix the dopamine levels of my brain. Would I be more inclined to ha to be social by the release by the more proper release of oxytocin in my brain? Hmm. Will we never know? Well, it's it's only because yeah, only because uh, I've only had one 
uh, psychopharmacologist. That's the term, a psychopharmacologist. I've only one psychopharmacologist I ever trusted, and then I haven't seen her in years. So I refuse to let anyone else play with my brain. We've all seen that Naruto being found by Apache helicopters or something. Oh, that's it was from Die Hard uh, Four. It was the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the helicopters chasing him through the streets. I think it was Die Hard Four. Die Hard Four has the air. No, yeah, he gets chased by the helicopter and then he drives the truck into the helicopter and then the the you got a Dell guy goes like, you just drove a truck into a helicopter and Brizzles goes, yeah, I know. And I go, man, you haven't seen high-powered, high-powered, like, buddy cop chemistry like this since Tango and Cash. The greatest buddy cop movie. I do love some Tango and Cash. Hmm. Ah. Yay! But the commonalities of brain chemistry and the commonalities of behavior suggest that at least some part of love's intoxication is experienced by other mammals. So yes, your dog, cat, etc. can love you. But non-mammals don't seem to have the same neuro setup, so non-mammals probably do not feel loved. Although I would argue birds. But tell my friends on a study on birds. Well, some birds can talk, so it's like, so like you, you can interact like that. Well, it, the oxytocin and stuff like that is, is built through brain chemistry, but it might be something completely different for uh, birds when I do. Because they say lizards and, um, oh, what do you call them? Uh, amphibians and stuff, and fish don't seem ah. to have set up. But I don't know about birds, because birds tend to mate for life, which would imply some form of love. And they attract each other via plumage and stuff like that, so there's some sort of an analytical part of their brain that says that bird is a better mate. So it would stand to say that the bird birds probably have some sort of neurochemistry set up to have that kind of release. But yes, apparently your pet can feel love. Which I could have told you without having done a study on any kind of mammals. Because <laughs> I've had pets before, and I'm like, no, no, they feel love. They might not fall in love like humans do, but they feel that happy, happy feeling of, of I'm with someone or another dog or whatever that I really like. Like, this ass is amazing. I'm going to stick with it. Exactly. How are you holding up, Miguel? Alright. Is, is, is the game feeling easier for you the longer you're going, or is it, start, is it getting much harder? It's easier to go. You, you learn the new tricks. It's one of those games where. Hmm.
thing is really weird. I feel like so happy and liberated, like understanding more about how my brain works. <laughs> is it knowledge of, oh, that's why I'm like antisocial and detached from people. <laughs> but now I know why. That's the awesome part. It's not because like of how I was raised. It's because my family's genetics are screwed up. <laughs> But see, now I know, and now I can compensate for knowing I'm flawed. I said yes, one day late. So really smart though. Yeah. And next is soundtrack Sunday. Last week was West Side Story, which I, I don't know if I can top West Side Story in terms of like a, a theme post for a soundtrack. I mean, granted, the original Star Wars trilogy is the best love story ever told, but I don't think of the soundtrack as being a particularly romantic soundtrack. Except for the hip-hop version of the Imperial March. That's pretty awesome. Huh. I should use Top Gun. Gay, straight, whatever. There's something for everyone in this soundtrack. Gay, straight, volleyball player. Something for everyone. I would say Transformers only really has like the greatest soundtrack ever. Yeah, but it doesn't tie into the month theme, which is love, romance, and sex. You got the touch, you know, once you get the touch, you have the power to do anything. How about. Have you guys seen that uh, thing where Cosmo did uh, 50 Shades of Grey stuff with uh, Disney characters? No, I didn't see or hear of that, but I'm sure the it's about it. What about Beauty and the Beast? Beauty and the Beast is a very strong soundtrack. I think of Beauty and the Beast is my soundtrack song. Oh my god, I found the I actually found the guy who um Top Gun. Damn it, I'm between the two. This is a real tough call. <laughs> Top Gun's funnier. Beauty and the Beast is probably more true. I, I found, um, I found, um, what he could bring me to the Facebook profile. Nice! I guess try to add them. Oh, we are. Yes! We found one of the two of them. I think it was Victor. Ramsey's, um... Oh, he's a you're, you're, in a, you're in a castle of the darkness now. You play, you're, you're still a bunch of the test, yo. Yep, it's, uh, it's a picture from one of their panels, at least. Yeah, he's so pretty here. Yep, I recognize that carpet from that picture. The best part about the Kong is the carpet did match the drapes. He's only really required. Shit, <laughs> I'm making that my, my next Twitter update. The best part of Katsukong is that the carpet matched the drapes. Because <clears throat> I'm just in one of those mischievous moods today. Jesus. 
These guys are not yielding me what I need right now. Okay, Top Gun will be the soundtrack now. Highway to the stage is Between Take My Breath Away and Plane of the Boys, this soundtrack has something for everybody. <laughs> We could also live in fitness. Oh, oh never mind. I'm choosing the theme for the con, I'm choosing the theme for my soundtrack, Sunday. So, technically I could use Footloose. I mean, Footloose is a very important plot point to Guardians of the Galaxy. Exactly. <laughs> he taught... <laughs> he, Kevin Bacon taught an entire, na a entire city to... Uh, the entire city to dance. <laughs> Which Rax replies, what do you mean they all had a bunch of uh, sticks up their ass? It's Gamora. It's Gamora, because he's using it yeah. to flirt with Gamora and she just does the whole oh, yeah. That is so cruel. Why would they put sticks up people's butts? <laughs> <laughs> which, um, confused Matthew had the best response to that, which is, wait, that's Drax's shtick. Red girl should not be making that, that joke. To which I just, that, that's why I got confused. <laughs> And I go, yes, confused Matthew, the writing does suck because it is written by the dude who freaking did Scooby Doo 1 and 2. <laughs> no one ever said James Gunn was a good writer. James Gunn just makes awesome movies. I said Scooby Doo 1 and 2. What the fuck? Huh? No, it's just something that, uh, the way the way that me yelled at like, What? How the hell did you die by, by touching the edge? Spice. Anyways, keep going. Jeez. This game shows no fuck. You didn't even touch the edge this time! I think that that thing must be cursed! Oh, bitch! Anyways. Keep going. Time for some glitches. Where are my glitches at? Let's try something. Yes, I'm kind of looking forward to giving Monster Hunter a try. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I don't know if any of you guys were on the uh, PlayStation Store for their President's Day flash sale. Oh my god. It's like every game I want. I'll, I'll, I'll load up my PlayStation in a little bit. I just want to do this stuff. But um, it has uh, Guilty, Gear, Guilty Gear Excerpt uh, for like $20. Really? Are you serious? JoJo uh, All-Star Battle, $20. Uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate uh, PS3 version for ten dollars. Um, Dead or Alive Five Ultimate for ten dollars. Um, <clears throat> Street the Street Fighter Alpha One, Two, and Three as separate games, each for like a dollar fifty a piece. Well, because they replaced their PlayStation Classic version. Yep. Um, that's not a, that's Street, not a bad thing. I, I actually do consider Alpha uh, Street Fighter HD for like uh, four dollars, I think. Some really, really good. It's, it's, it's a lot of fighters and a couple of other games on there too. I got. I'll, I'll load it up in a little bit. Well, but, I'm looking at the site right now. You can actually look through it on. Lucky. So it's like, okay, let's see what we got here. Anyone want Street Fighter X Tekken for seven bucks? Ha! I don't even. Th I don't even think that's even worth seven bucks. Jesus Christ! No, no, they'll pay you seven bucks to play it. <laughs> Dead or Alive Five Vanilla is five four dollars. There are like five. There are like five ultimate ten dollars. Right, well, I'm pretty sure the upgrade to last round would be like another, another, another ten. So just, you're better off buying vanilla right now, and then putting the fifteen to get ult, get to get on final round to get everything else. So it's like you're only paying twenty. Tower for Ascension, four fifty. That's really oh, good. Hey. Sorry. I think he died again. Oh, okay. Let's see. Mercenary keys for PS4. Six bucks. Not bad. Uh, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace for twelve. That is tempting, actually. That's another one of those kill stuff to collect items to make more items so you can kill more stuff games. Yeah, the Monster Hunter. The Monster yeah, Hunter. Monster uh, Damn it. The, the Monster oh. Hunter games. Like the like that's the that's the new thing now. Which at least. Give, I mean, it's not super goal-oriented, but it's one of those things you could always put down and pick up again and not, you know, 
you, you can always come back to it and you, you're not going to be like, oh my god, where was I? Like, oh, I know where I was. I was going to go kill some more monsters so I can get stuff, so I can make more things, so I can, get more, so I can kill more monsters, so I can get more stuff, so I can make more things. Yeah. Well, this is a good one. Sports Friends for 450. Sports Friends? It's a, it's a collection of mini games. It's a collection of mini games by by, by independent by independent um, um, companies that they all formed like one to make one game. So it's like you have you basically they're buying like I think six games for a price of like one. Oh, okay. And they're all like all they're all like on couch and also online multiplayer. Oh, that's always nice. Let's see, Tales of Zelia two for you, Jared. Yeah, I know. I saw that. And we have a friend who cosplays from that, and I have uh, producer Chan who wants to cosplay from it, but wants to know more about the game. And I would like to cosplay from it, so... <laughs> it might be the first Tales of game I actually get a cosplay from. Okay. Here's a, here's a good one. King of Fighters 99 for PS for the PS uh, for the PS1 Classic for 120. Yeah. Unless you want unless you want the game with like some fuck with, with some fucked up frame rate, that's a good deal. I prefer Dream Match 98. Dream Match 98 is still my favorite game, guys. I I I just wish the online wasn't bored from the, on, on I just wish the online wasn't so bored from the Steam version. I just I just bought my old Dreamcast version. Honestly, that makes me happy. Oh, this is so good! Virtual Fighter Five Final Final Round Final Showdown Six Bucks. I'm not a big VF uh, player. I, I am. It's like it's oh bad. I just kind of like so so on it. I'm really you Vandal Hearts game? I didn't know that. It's actually pretty, I, I, I am legitimately interested in this game now. Vandal Hearts Flame of Judgment. I did not know this was a thing. Oh, I thought that was just the regular Vandal Hearts. No, it's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a remake. It's a remake. Oh. Uh, it's a place of... Uh, yeah! It says it's, it's it's a good game. But they, they praise the, the strategy, but they don't like the artwork. So it's, it's part of course with the, with, this, with the franchise. But the franchise kind of had weird artwork. You, you oh know, my god! What is up with the artwork? You would put me in a really happy zone that was on there if it was super cheap, just because I, I do like grabbing the classics, especially when they cost like a dollar and change. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see Sweet get in on there. That would that would put me in a real happy place. You know, I, I think for a while, I, like, that's, that's, Sweet is always the one that gets on sale whenever I do like PS1 classic. Yeah. Buy and buy while it's cheap because like I think I I could have brought it, but I was like I was a day late when it when I was a day late. I was like, God damn it! Yeah, it's always that way. Ah, uh, here's a good one. Hardcore Uprising for the PS3. Or... No, PS3. No! It's Hardcore. Not Hardcore. No, it's, no, it's Hardcore. They really pronounce it like that? Yes. Ah. <sighs> uh, C-O-R-P-S. Yes, Corpse. Corpse. You're not usually supposed to pronounce the P. It's Hardcore. Or Hardcore. Yeah, whatever. If you like, if you like your Conjure with Guilty Gear. Which is actually not a bad concept, to be honest with you. The only problem, I, I, the only problem is like you, like you have to pay for everything to unlock everything. Like, what the fuck? Just give me everything from the right from the start. I'm... Well, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't mind, like, grinding to get... You know, no, 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 you don't get it. Ah, you don't grind to get it. You, you're, you're stuck with two characters, and the additional characters, you have you, you don't get to them. Like, you don't get it at all. You have to buy the additional characters. Oh, you mean, like, uh, DLCs? Yeah, I'm like... Oh, that's... yeah. No, I know. That's, that's not cool, bro. Not cool. <laughs> that's, that's in case of Jesus. Um, the only thing I saw on their sale that really interested me, actually, was uh, Psycho Soldier. Oh, yeah. I've never played Psycho Soldier. I always wanted to, plus... I never did. You know, was my first... Thing. Well, it was not one of my first, because mine was, like... <laughs> but uh, Athena was one of my SNK waifus. Still kind of is, I think. I dig her. It has a, play, it has a, rock, it has a rock soundtrack. Yeah. I played the original Athena game, which means it's... Don't play it. ...same Athena. Um, I can't get particularly far in that game. I don't know if I just don't know the controls properly or what. That game is hard. It's hard. Oh, it was meant to be your game one. 
No, but it's like, uh, what? Psycho Soldiers is there for 149. Mm -hmm. But it's like the only thing that's good about that game is that it has a that it has a vocal soundtrack. Does it really? Yes. It's really synthesized, but it's like you can hear that. that it's really you can hear the synthesizer. Like they work that synthesizer to the bone. Hmm. That's too bad. I, like I said, I didn't know anything about about the Psycho Soldier game other than it's the introduction of Athena Asamiya. And also Kisu. And Kisu, yeah. The second best character in, in that franchise. <laughs> like, the tier goes... And, uh, for me, though, it's, it's like, Robert Garcia, number one, he takes spots 1 through 20, and then all the way down there, it's like Kisu. <laughs> the weirdest taste in characters. Uh, Robert is on my list because he's one of my better characters. Uh, but... Most of my best characters in King of Fighters are all the ladies. Who loves me? Yeah. I don't know, look at me. If I, I use K2, K, uh, Kim, and uh, if, I, if I'm, oh, if I'm either and... Yori or either, either Yori or Kyo or Terry. Terry's one of my favorites. And then if we're leaving the KOF franchise, then Brock. Um, I'm gonna get to Garo. <laughs> Brock is <laughs> in Garo. <laughs> my friend got some recruits. He doesn't like a, he doesn't like older Terry when we play Garo. He's like, ah, older Terry sucks. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but just play Rock. He's like, no, Rock doesn't play right. He doesn't play like Terry. He plays like, like a fast yes. piece. He's like, yeah, like a fast piece. And I, I, I can't get him to work right. And I'm like, Rock is amazing. I love Terry. He's it's totally my style of play. Wait, what, what, what's going on? I didn't do it. All right. Anyways. <laughs> oh, hey, this is this is actually I might be tempted to buy this just for funsies. Hmm. Def Jam Fight for New York the Takeover. Oh, is that the sequel? I, it has to be one of the sequels, right? It's it's a remake of Fight for New York. Well, it's the same. It's the same goddamn game. Just what? Put into like a old two D format, or? Oh no! It's just uh, what is it? it's like it's just remake because like, it doesn't have the sharp yeah. graphics or anything like that. Huh. But it plays the same because it's fucking Aki. And god damn, any like god damn Aki Corp. I love you. You have never played any of the Death Jam fight games. You don't play don't play the latest one, play all the other ones, you'd be surprised. Yeah, I've heard they're really good. Because they're made by the same guys who made like the the they're made by the same guys who made um the N64 WWE games. Oh, I do love those. So it's like it's that just with rappers. The problem is I guess I don't have the attachments. I probably don't know who any of the rappers are. You don't know, I don't even know it either. I just know it from casual from casual conversation, but I don't care. I love it. Oh, nice. I guess it's the closest I'll get to getting a really good celebrity deathmatch game. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you know it's cold outside. Yes. Yeah, it's cold outside. I know how it feels to be me. It's alright. I've done it so many times now. I already know the past. It's like the, it's it's like a, it's like ghosts and ghosts, but just not as bullshitty.
How's the baby doing? Is this teething a fish yet? I know I didn't catch anything, you stupid fool. Cause I didn't want to fish. Huh. Fishing is awesome. Yeah, but the thing is, fishing is only good if I'm if I'm if I'm a boat if I'm if I'm a boat, boat caster. Oh hey, you have a new armor. Now you're me. That is cool. You are me. You're a link between worlds, or in this case, link between franchises. Yeah, I did find that odd, that the balancing for the boss fight isn't... Again, inconsistent in its... Yeah. That if I can only get it. As in like like as in like please please Jesus, please God or whatever deities out there, don't get me killed while I do while I fight. So basically you're fighting right now Aud Audrey 2 from the little little shop of horrors. And, and Audrey 2 is just being very silent. He's like, mm -hmm. he's waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 There's some pissed off pussies! That's my new band, by the way. Pissed off pussies. Hey! <laughs> 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 I got it loaded! Yeah. 
I think this is gonna be a long mission. Yeah, so the news level is actually pretty, doing pretty good, like, it's tracking pretty good. That's good to hear. We learned that the trick really is that Jared just shouldn't be there at all. As long as I'm not there, our numbers go up. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Woo! Now double jump. Yeah, double jump. Finally. Woo. Wait, you're endangered? The more most recent. He's talking about the the stream from yesterday, right? No, no. No, he's talking about the episode. Oh! No, 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 I was awesome that episode because I did an interview. That's how I know it was awesome. And, and Miguel's there too, I guess, whatever. You don't want Nintendo suing him? Come on! It's not a Metroid, though. Look, but they're not trying. Look, we just fought not a Gundam. We fought, we fought all these other things. Wait, like, this look. Thing. You can't copyright a look. Yeah, they can't call the character Link, but you could have a character who wears a green outfit and has a sword and a shield. Yes. Otherwise, every cosplayer could get sued. Which would not be cool because I don't think I don't, I don't think any cosplayer has the money to support a, a lawyer right about now. Look, the old adage is Jesus saves. And so should you. That's how I usually do that one. One hundred and seventy-two times, Jesus. Please let there be more. Yes. Oh, I want to go to that. Fire Emblem 25th anniversary concert has been revealed, which is great, except it's in Tokyo. It's like us Gaijin will never see it. 
I would be happy enough with a recording of it. We still haven't had- Is there a recording of yeah. Symphony of the Goddess? It's so difficult to find the Fire any of the Fire Emblem soundtracks. I'm- my, I found one of the Anniversary Collection ones that has, like, higher quality audio versions of some of the newer games. But I'd really like to have a really good orchestral Fire Emblem album. Get out me, get out me, get out me! Also, is it weird that like when I'm trying to get everyone together for the podcast, I hear the uh, little like recruitment song from Fire Emblem that dun 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 it's usually what you get when you get like a conversation between two hero characters, or two big characters. Um, oh wow! That's, so that's recruit a guy that song. If you uh, have like a certain social interactions, will trigger that song. And so, but I'm doing like like commute, like trying to talk you guys into joining. I was like, let's do the show. It gets a little like recruitment song. <laughs> All right, P. All right, P. Wiener Mobile. You will be missed. Did you name one of your cats Wienermobile? No, uh, the literal Wienermobile is just crashed. Oh. And I'm like... What? Yes! What? It crashed somewhere in, like, Peoria. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not in Peoria, it's in Pennsylvania. Elona, Pennsylvania. How does the usually still some in uh, East Pentwell Township as quite an act involving Oscar Minor Wienermobile? Jesus Christ! That was deadlock. Missing a little report. Rolling Shield has been added to your gallery. Let me see. Is it the scene from Sleeping at Night when you meet Dracula? That's, like, that's the only, that's the only like very famous Castlevania thing ever. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it is. Well, let me get, like, th those, those, um, uh, you know, getting, um, uh, you know, save rooms are starting to become more and more, like, it's becoming more and more of a luxury. Hey, you have an old, you have a bow and arrow. Well, I lost it I died. Oh. Well. Thanks for oh, I just saw it. I just saw your death. Oh, thanks for the support. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like this character's about to die. Wait, wait, you attack. Oh.
Yeah, it was it just fled the last time. What? Yeah, it fled. It didn't, you didn't you didn't kill it. No, but I didn't realize I was gonna fight with some point. I don't assume that you would fight at some point. Yeah, it's uh, Storm it, it's Storm Eagle from from the uh, Mega Man X. Uh, yeah, you're t I remember saying uh we don't fight that last week. Yeah, it keep it's coming back. In Pog form. <laughs> yeah. Is this me? Is he wearing? Is he wearing headgear? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You have a second form? No, I, I, I don't think it's a loading shot. Are you kidding me? Yes! You're seeing this right now! Oh my god! <laughs> this, this is like, this is like, I wanna be the guy level of bullshit right here. Oh my god, you just died by- you just died by- by touching its corpse. Yep. I'm only gonna give- I'm only gonna have one chance to say that. Not these missions. <sighs> the more missions you do, the more you become just like an errand boy. I mean, it's only a couple of those make stuff games. A lot of it does tend to fall into the busy work category. Yeah, like, we need you to go here and kill these these guys. I'm like, can you do it yourself? You got a nope. big old sword and a big old gun. You got, you got a big old sword and better armor than I do, why can't you just go? Nope. I'm like, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, you, well, there's a simple answer for that. He used to be an adventure like you, and then he took an arrow to the name. Oh, shut up. I should go back and play that. I have it in my pen. I recently, I brought it not too long ago. Being in uh, Washington just m makes me crave Bethesda games. Like I've been wanting to play Fallout 3 and uh, and Skyrim all weekend. So I don't mind this mission because at least it makes sense. Let me see if any of my friends are online so I'd be like, Oh, hey, can I like fight with you guys so I can get like better shit? So I can be like OP as fuck in a little- so I can be OP as fuck? What is the trick? What's happening here? I don't care. I'm just checking out the PlayStation store. You've been typing a lot, so I didn't know. Uh, I'm just doing my run down. Oh. Ah! Put everything in your hands. Just... 
Yes, it is. Down, I want a mushroom. That was a 16th, right? Okay, so it's fine. Otherwise, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Yolo. I just want some meat, that's all I want. I just want some meat. I want to put some big meat in my mouth. That, yeah, that. That's what she said. I know, right? Yeah, cause like, I'm, I, just, I just need to get some meat from my... I'll just shut up, I'll just shut up before I make them worse. Mm-hmm. You really should. You're gonna hear some annoying music. a lot easier. Oh yeah. This time I, I will not touch it. Otherwise I won't come. Yeah, you escaped again. And this game seems to be one of those types of games where it's like, um, like depending on like the item you get, it this can either be hey, really easy. Gale cutter. Woohoo! 
yeah, this, this, depending on like what weapons and what loadout you take with you, it can either be really easy or really hard. PlayStation is starting to crash. Oh, that put me in happy. That, that new spell is fucking OP as hell. Sorry? Okay, first off, this was her crazy thing that ends with me being decapitated, so that's great. But basically, she found out that someone from the Bay Area, who she is not particularly fond of, ended up having a kid, and she believes that kid is probably going to grow up to be the Antichrist, which means that your child is likely the one to defeat him and save the world, which then makes us basically the equivalents of John the Baptist and Elizabeth, which is all well and good, except for... John the Baptist gets his head cut off. For no good reason. The king's wife was all like, you know what, that dude is getting popular, let's kill him. And the king was like, 